Hello everyone, so I'm so excited today and, and I'm so happy this is my first time out something like two months ago. My last flag outside was something like two months ago. I am I'm really so excited and I am happy to be out and to hear the sound of the birds inside the nature between the trees. So today I'm not going to make any woodland or landscape photos because I am in the middle of the day as you can see and it's, the sun is shining and there's a lot of harsh lights and I don't like to take photos in situations like this. But I am out today to search for any beautiful small flowers or small roses because as you know we are in the spring and I hope I can find something interesting to make macro photos of. So let's go and search together in the nature, finally. I don't think I'm going to use any music in this video because I'm just <laughs> enjoying the sound of the birds. I really like this sound a lot. The challenge that I have today is that the center column of my tripod is so long. That's why if I want to make eye level photos of the small flowers near the ground, I can't go down near the ground and I have to put my tripod upside down to be able to take photos eye level of the very small floor. So today I'm using my Sigma 70 to 300 millimeter lens and as you know it has a macro function between 200 and 300 millimeters. But sometimes I feel it's so challenging to use this lens as macro lens because you have to be so far from the subject that you are taking photos of. For example, right now as you can see here is my camera and the subject is here. So I have to be so far away something like so I, I think something like 50 centimeter. So as you can see, this is the first photo I took. This is not like what I want. I, wa I was just, you know, I, I was trying things, but the insect is not here anymore. <laughs> I'm searching for it. I hope it shows up again. And if not, I will try to search for anything else. See, this is another photo I'm trying to take. I wanted to take a photo of this flower, but suddenly this <laughs> insect came and now I'm waiting for it to go out. So here is another photo I'm trying to take, but what I'm going to do actually is that I'm going to make focus stack because as you can see, I want everything to be sharp. The beginning of the flower, to the center of the flower, to the back of the flower. I want everything to be sharp. And maybe I'm going to use something like F9 or F11 and take three or four photos focus stuff. So now I'm taking the photo something somehow near 90 degree of the floor because I wanted to take a photo of these two insects. Now it's one. <laughs> there were two insects of this floor and what I did is that because the sun is hitting the flower and there's a lot of harsh lights before taking the photo I was just like hiding the flower to make it in shade and to make the light soft and I took this photo. So I always try to do that when I want to make macro photos in the middle of the day like now and the sun is so harsh and there's a lot of harsh highlights on the floor. I don't think macro photos look good when there's a lot of harsh highlights. So that's why I try to cover the floor with anything to make the light more soft and more beautiful than very harsh highlights. So 
So here is another flower I'm trying to take a photo of, but it's very small and it's exactly near the ground and that's why I'm putting the camera now upside down and this is very so challenging and it's really so I'm tired now because I'm I don't have flip screen and that means I have to put my face exactly near the ground to be able to see the viewfinder or to be able to see the back screen of my camera and to be able to focus. So it's really so challenging. But what I like about this flower is there's very small insects. I don't know actually what they called. It's like red spot on the flower and at the beginning I didn't expect that they are insects but after I zoom into the flower and I saw them they are moving so I knew that they are insects. I think this is one of the benefits of living in small cities or near the countryside. You can go outside without getting in touch with anyone and the streets are empty without anyone in the streets. So I hope and we all hope that things are started to be better and we can, we can, we can. And we can go outside more and more and more flags are coming outside, hopefully. And we can enjoy the sound of the nature. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please consider subscribing if you are not already. I am so done. And see you in the next video. Bye.